All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Uh, FYI, we're sitting over here in the Freedom Office, and just outside out on the street is uh, my son's newly used pickup truck. And if uh, you guys know about it who have children and are going through that stage where they have to uh, have something to drive and insurance and everything, good Lord, this is going to be fun. All right, what are we talking about today? I've got a uh, Fox News pulled up. Gun control bill signed by Governor Walsing amid crime wave struck down as Second Amendment advocates sound off. First of all, this guy's a turd. And then I, I saw in a video last night, he's talking about he's a better shot than any of the Republicans, and he has the trophies to show for it. Well, Tim Waltz, show me your trophies, because I sure as shit want to see them, you dirtbag. Here we go. A federal appeals court ruled that Minnesota's law that bans people ages 18 to 20 from obtaining permits to carry guns is unconstitutional, prompting criticism over Governor Tim Waltz's stance on the Second Amendment. Well, he doesn't have a stance on the Second Amendment other than he's trying to stomp it out. That's what these people are doing. Now, here's the thing for all you guys that would normally vote. And I'm, I know I'm talking preaching to the choir. OK, but there's a lot of people out there who, unfortunately, in this world that we live in, are told who to vote for. They're not allowed to use their own mind. And those specifically like in a teacher's union, auto union, I've got good friends of mine. And they said, well, you know, we have to vote for this guy because, you know, we're going to get more out of him. I'd just like to ask you, really, what has anybody ever received benefits from those people called Democrats? And now we're talking about we're going to be doing stomping out the Second Amendment. All right, well, there's a statement from a guy named Pete Stauber. As a staunch supporter of the Second Amendment, I welcome the federal appeals court's decision regarding Minnesota's law. This ruling affirms the constitutional rights of all law-abiding citizens to bear arms. It's crucial, especially at a time when the crime rates are a concern, and they are. Kamala Harris doesn't care about the Constitution. She can, she did Constitution, Constitution, or whatever she said the other day. So just get it, man. You're going to have to figure out what's more important to you. Is your Second Amendment important or just voting for an idiot? And, oh, my God, she's an idiot. Stauber, who served in the House of Representatives since January 2019, is known for his background in law enforcement and his focus on public safety. You have to understand that I just read these things to you, and I'm trying to feed my personal thoughts on what's going on. We Oh, by the way, uh, we got stuff from Primary Arms who came in this week. I have another scope mount that we're going to put together. And I got a rifle build that we're going to be doing right behind me. It's a high-end JP rifle, uh, proof research. I am looking forward to actually getting back in and doing some builds. This is going to be a lot of fun. I had to find some parts and pieces. But anyway, got a battery and a charger in for the uh, flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm having fun doing reviews, but let's get back to what pays the bills here. Governor Walsh's administration has indeed taken positions that many, including myself, view as hostile towards the fundamental rights of guarantee to Second Amendment. And, and his, here's the deal. Everybody's using that thought about uh, children and all this other stuff and, you know, my right to safety. Uh, and the way I look at it is this. Because one person is a bad, they're going to take away all of our rights. Is that, would you agree with that? This decision is not just about carrying guns. It's about respecting and upholding our constitutional right. It's a significant step towards ensuring that these rights are preserved for all Minnesotans. You know what? Might as well go ahead and ban all semi-automatic firearms because basically they can, they can change the name over here. They're going to change the name over there. This guy is a complete total joke. But even worse is that thing called Kamala. Vice President Kamala added Waltz as her running mate on the 2024 Democratic ticket for the White House, despite the pair previously having widely differing views. Waltz, you remember, used to be a NRA person. Uh, yeah, Waltz has since changed his tune to champion gun control measures and lost his high marks for the Second Amendment community. NRA slammed Waltz as a political chameleon. Tim Waltz is a political chameleon changing his positions to further his own personal agenda in Congress. Waltz purported to be a friend of gun owners. Waltz wrote an op-ed in 2018 that his views on guns are evolving in some ways, but that he's always been a reformer. I don't want to talk about his past and what he's done. Let's talk about what he's going to do if in the event that they win this election. And I say this and I say it and I, reluctantly and I hate this. I, they're probably going to win this damn thing. Because there's no reason not to believe that they're going to win. Because Joe Biden won that election in the last 30 minutes when all of a sudden uh, Stacey Abrams came down with that dump truck full of freaking votes. 
it doesn't matter. You know what? If the, if they are not winning, they're going to try to extend the voting periods, you know, extend the polling times and try to make it into where they can deliver on what they promised. Talk about Philadelphia and what they did over there. They boarded up the window so no one could see. Here we go. Data from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety reviewed by Fox News Digital shows that in 2018, the year Waltz took office, the state recorded 104 murders, a figure that increased by more than 12% in 2019. When the state recorded 117 murders in the state of 2020, <laughs> in the state in 2020, when violent crime spiked nationwide, please do me a favor. Vote with your heart. Vote for what is right, not for who or what tells you to vote for. It's KB32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Always end like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. And I hope the big Cobra burnout is doing all right, because I always end them like this. Boom. Y'all be good.